blessing. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. You know, I'm so thankful and honored to be here this morning. It is just such a privilege that we can learn God's word and, and study to show ourselves approved. You know, I thought about our purpose, our work, what we're supposed to be doing. You know, the Lord's got work and purpose for us to do. You know, and I thought about this. And I went over here to the book of John, the 14th chapter, and I started reading about what our works and our purpose should be. You know, a lot of people might be confused, Sister Brenda, wondering what, what is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? Hey Amen. I believe we're supposed to be doing what Jesus would have us to do. Thank God. To be out leading people and, and reaching out to people through and by the gospel. Oh, they, that they could be saved and born again and a life-changing experience. And I thought very hard about this. John, the 14th chapter, I want to read down here at the 12th verse. This is what Jesus said. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. You know, when Jesus was down here, he went about doing good. <laughs> Healing all that were oppressed of the devil, of the enemy, for God was with him. I believe that's what he told us to do. He told us to go and preach and teach the gospel to every creature. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. <laughs> you know, there is a work, a job, a, a course that God wants us upon. Every day we should take an opportunity to tell somebody else about the Lord and about what he can do, about this glorious gospel. We should take every chance and every opportunity that we got, thank God, to lead somebody to Christ. Uh, that's what this is all about. Matthew, the fifth chapter, verse 16, let your lights shine before men that they may see the good works and glorify your father which is in heaven brother we got a light to shine that's our job that's what he called us to do the bible says many are called but few are chosen we are chosen vessels to go forth and do what god would have us to do hey man there's more to this than a lot of people realize they think works is just going to church and singing some songs clapping our hands having some fellowship and going home but brother there's a lost and dying world uh, Jesus said look upon the fields for the white ready to harvest but the laborers are few uh, brother we need to be laborers in this vineyard that God has set up on the land hey man look around at people's lives look around at the lost people that's in trouble and turmoil you think Jesus uh, if he was down here on this earth today what, he'd be doing the same thing he did then he'd be going about helping people cleansing the lepers raising the dead, casting out devils, open the eyes of the blind. And he told us to do it. He said, these works that I do, ye shall do also, and greater than these shall you do, for I go unto my Father. That's what he wants us to do. Uh, many times you read about Jesus being in the synagogue, and, and they were so am amazed and astonished at his works. Matthew, the 13th chapter, verse 54 and 58 says, And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, and so much that they were astonished. And they said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? And Matthew, the, the 58th verse there, it says, And he did not many works there because of their unbelief. You see, that's what is happening to a lot of people today because of unbelief. Uh, the works of God uh, are being at a standstill because people will simply not believe. Uh, believe the word of God. Trust in this word, this holy scripture. A, a man, he said, By my stripes you are healed, you were healed. That means what it says it means. Praise God. That's the words of an almighty God. God. If we will just trust him and if we'll just believe, we'll see the works come to pass and be manifested because Jesus Christ, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And Brother Ken touched on it just a, a little bit earlier. He said, I must do the works that uh, he sent me to do. And that's what we need to do, praise God. Works. We need to work, praise God. Matthew 16 and 27, for the Son of Man 
was when he shall come in all of his glory and his father with his angels then shall he reward every man according to his works brother there's works to do thank God a lot of people don't realize this that I've heard people quote the scripture many times for it's not by works lest any man should boast you know what that's talking about it's talking about salvation it ain't talking about getting out here and leading somebody to the Lord it ain't talking about being a witness and a light to a lost and dying world brother that's the kind of works I'm talking about this morning no man can save himself no man can change himself it takes the blood of the lamb it takes a born again experience but God expects his people to be out working and laboring and praise God now's the time to do it